Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Cancer, which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments as well, Cancer. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you do enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe. I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Cancer. Aries, I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my reading channel in that way, to support my horoscope channel. Also, remember to use your intuition, Cancer, because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it. I believe my reading here today is going to just do nothing but provide you a some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, whenever making the choices in your life, because it's your life to live and not mine, not these cards, honey. So with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly reading, your weekly horoscope, Cancer. So I'm going to show you the cards I pulled for you just so, because I pull, I, I always feel like I need to explain it, but um, I pulled some cards just to see where you guys are at in your current path right now. So we have the five, three of fire or the three of wands. We have the knight of water, knight of cups, the two of air or swords, as well as the five of fire or wands. So let's take get this let's take this in uh rather cancer. This I definitely see you guys oh. You guys have been dealing with some type of obstacle that really placed you at a fork in the road. You guys really are not sure what to do. It feels like this five of fire energy has been what's been like this obstacle being what like whatever it is has really just been sitting with you um and i feel like you guys dare say been managing with this for quite some time i don't feel like this has just been like a temporary thing i feel like this has been like a progressive uh build up i'm noticing i'm not like centered <laughs> and it's bothering me yeah it's, uh cancer i do feel like you guys are um really just at this crossroads that you really just don't know what to do or maybe for some of y'all you're just like uh well maybe if i ignore it for long enough um maybe it's gonna just resolve itself right uh, well i'm not gonna say it will or will not but let's just get into this reading right so i'm gonna start with your five of fire first this card says competing goals, bothersome details, and conflict with others. Now, I'm going to be honest, Cancer. I want to pull some cards before I start running my mouth on this because this could really entail a lot of things, right? So I always like to pull some clarifiers just so we can have a little bit more structure for this reading so we can really start uh, figuring this out. So just give me a moment. So let's see here. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, I'm going to just hold it upright for you, the Ten of Swords, as well as the King of Wands. So for you Cancers, you guys are in this place of uh, really needing to uh, step up to the plate, right? I do kind of feel like your struggle has been trying to almost like get yourself motivated to do things, getting yourself motivated to go after um, some business ventures to um, even connect. I mean, with the Three of Pentacles, it's like it speaks of contracts, but also collaboration. So um, maybe there's this sense of like you've want you're wanting to like work with people or just you know exchange energy with others, but there's just like this sense of like resistance here, right? With this Ten of Swords here, I feel like that's what's been stopping this King of Wands where you're going out and like taking charge and getting those contracts, right? So let's get some little, a little bit more detail with this Cancer. Let's see what this Ten, ten of Swords is about. What's going on here for Cancer with this Ten of Swords? The Hermit. <laughs> So is that your issue, Cancer? Is your issue the sense of where you guys are just like, 
you know that you need to go out, you need to go out, you know that you need to start connecting, socializing and doing things. But there is this sense of maybe you guys are, I mean, let's not even read that much into it. Maybe you guys are just going through a little bit of a depression spell, right? It's normal. It happens to everybody, right? Maybe that's just kind of been your struggle is just working through this depression that, you know, maybe you don't even want to call it depression because it doesn't, it doesn't look like what you would imagine it to look like or how it looks like on other people, right? Maybe you're not necessarily sad or like maybe the sadness just comes in from being the hermit, but at the same time, you don't want to get out of it. So it becomes like this weird toxic cycle that puts you in that crossroads, right? So it's almost like, you know, if you were to like your obstacle or your conflict is the very thing that you're making the choice in doing because you're too uh depressed to handle the depression right like the depression itself is making you more depressed and <laughs> like it's like this weird cycle that i feel for you cancer so it's just like uh yeah you kind of just don't know what to do with it and it's just like a sense of frustration i do feel like um it's just extremely hard for you right now to get out of your shell and just to motivate yourself to even find a reason to like want to get up in the morning right i feel you there honey so um i talk about that crossroads right let's get into this two of air or this two of swords for you this card says being unable or unwilling to make a decision in your life a stalemate and pretending there isn't a problem right now maybe you guys are responsible on some level with that right pretending there isn't a problem or anything in that nature but i'm not going to speak boldly in that sense just because I mean, you'll know if you know, right? I'm going to just speak of this in terms of uh, crossroads for, for y'all. So you're at this crossroads. What do we take from here? Let me get some clarifying cards. Here, okay? All right. Let's see what is going on for a cancer. Let's see. So we have the chariot card coming in for you, but this card actually is in the reverse, inverted for y'all. But I'm gonna just keep it upright just so you can see the artwork because y'all don't need to see it upside down the entire time to know that it's being inverted. The message is inverted, right? You have the strength card as well as the queen of pentacles. So this is your crossroads, right? Even quite literally with the chariot card being in the reverse where it's like you're digging your feet into the ground instead of really going forward with something, um that's where it's just like you're stuck here it's almost like you quite literally you are at a stalemate because it's like until the decision is made until you actually get your hooves out of the ground and make a choice and commit to it honey because maybe that's the issue as well it's just like the sense of commitment for y'all of where it's just like both sides you could probably like be like oh okay that sounds good or the other side is just like oh okay that sounds good as well maybe part of the hermiting process and like why it is you guys are just like reclusing more and more is just because you nothing's really like exciting you or giving you the spark or maybe every single time that you try to do something to get you that to give you that spark somehow maybe it feels like you try to do that one step forward but then somehow it puts you like 10 steps back it feels right because maybe because of this five of wands energy maybe you're just constantly having obstacles thrown at you in your life so it's just like just this sense of frustration that's probably why you're just digging your feet in because you're just like well every time i try to move i just have something happen so if i just bury my feet and bury my head in the sand maybe then that's when i'm gonna have a sense of some normalcy right but this is something that you have to work through, right? This is your shadow work card, right? The strength card, Cancer. This is a time for, uh, lets me know this is something that you probably have, like, as I was saying from before, you probably have dealt with it for some time, Cancer, of where it's like, this is your issue. This is your cycle. This is the thing that you got to figure out with yourself and being like, when you're, when you're presented at a crossroads of figuring out a way to actually make it that decision right with the queen of pentacles there maybe is this sense of um uh defeatist attitude or lack of confidence in being able to accomplish accomplish anything and you know i do get the sense that maybe it's part of the reason as to why you guys are if, listen to me and it's like i'm trying to like figure out all the reasons as to why you guys are choosing to stay at this crossroads rather than making a decision right definitely let me know in the comments cancer like what this is about right because all i can do is like try to figure out the storyline right i'm not trying to speak for y'all or tell you more about yourself than what you already are this is more so me like looking at this and trying to dissect this and make sense of it in my own brain right 
So um, definitely let me know how this crossroads looks like for you. Um, so what? let's just say that you, once you do figure across that crossroads, right? Or make the decision on a uh, path that you want to take, uh, Cancer, let's say you do. What happens from there? Well, then we get into this three of fire, this three of wands. Now, I remember in your last week's reading, Cancer, um, you guys, I really do want to, you know what, I'm not even going to touch on it too much because I'll just tell you to go look at it. It's not just for like promo, but I know it's like fitting so perfectly for this, <laughs> but I don't want to like consume too much time for my Cancers that did already watch it. But um, let me just read off this card. This card says abundance. Things are looking very good. Have patience at this time and making long term plans. Right. So you go from this transition of being standing at this crossroads, digging your feet into the sand to now you're making long term plans. It's almost like you're inspired. Finally, it's fine. It's almost as if you start finding purpose once you have to commit to a path, right? Maybe for some of you Scorpio or Scorpios, I just did Scorpios reading before y'all, and that's why I said it. Um, but maybe for some of y'all Cancers, um, because you haven't made a decision in the path, like you haven't made a decision on which path to take at this crossroads because you're just waiting for like the, a sign right i do feel like a sign is coming so maybe let's just take the conscious effort this week cancer into uh really feeding the intention each day for you to be like all right i'm gonna try to work through this depression a little bit more um you know yesterday i didn't uh you know just make each day like a point to try to progress in some way right you know no one ever wants to talk about it right of what like depression actually looks like everyone always just likes to joke about it and make little memes about it and be like oh yeah i'm depressed like da 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 but like actual depression honey is just like sometimes you don't want to shower every single day sometimes you don't brush your teeth right sometimes you don't do the small self-care thing sometimes you don't eat three meals a day and like you just eat your meals out of a can or something frozen right depression isn't glamorous and it's okay to admit that we're not being glamorous even during our depression so let's just take this week because i do see this a sign coming i want to just say i don't and this, trust me cancer anyone that's not new to my readings will tell you in the comments below that i have no problems being like honey like <laughs> just being like breaking the news and being like uh like i don't like i don't see anything good happening um but I do see it. I do see some type of sign. But the thing is, I don't feel as if spirit's going to um, present it to you that three of fire. So I would like to say the three of fire or the three of wands is like looking out into the distance and you start seeing land you know imagine like i always use an example of like pirates of the caribbean when you're like out on a ship and there's more than just pirates of the caribbean for pirate being on a ship for months but um you know when you're on a ship for months and then because everyone's been on a ship for months uh and uh you see land after months of not seeing land and that's when you get excited and that's when it's just like this reinvigorated energy of being like all right like we're on the, we're doing the right things we're on the right path what have you i feel like you're gonna spot land uh really soon but you can't give up right this and just hold it like this the strength card coming in again for you so really emphasizing cancer is like you can't go around this you can't find a loophole you can't you know this is something you kind of the only way through it is the only way to go to the only way through it is what is the y'all know what i'm trying to say cancer like the only way to handle this is going through it or the only way around it is going through it right there's no easy way i'm just gonna hit me after the i turn off the camera of what i mean by it but i hope y'all meet know what i mean um the moon card coming in as well for you cancer so this is like something being revealed um working beneath the shadows that are not in like your current vision so this is really straight up even more foreshadowing uh cancer and that land is coming up land is going to be showing itself revealing itself to you soon so uh but you have to work through uh your strength right you have to do this lesson you have to really um work through this para paralyzing fear that you might have some of y'all might be the six of swords you finally have to admit to yourself that you have to walk away from something put some distance between you and a situation that you feel so closely to what is the six or six of swords about though <sighs> king of coins may do you not guys not want to like leave your comfort zone cancer is there something that like provides to you right now and where it's just like maybe that's your your issue or your self-confidence issue where it's just like you have a sense of security here right now but this crossroads that you're presented with 
you would have to leave that sense of security, right? Um, and kind of maybe rely on yourself a little bit more. And is that like your fear where it's like you don't know if you would be able to take care of yourself and handle yourself, Cancer? Nine of Pentacles came out. Yeah, I guess that is an issue, huh? Well, I guess I can get that, Cancer. Um, the only way that you'll know for sure if you can take care of yourself is by making it, putting yourself in a position where you have to take care of yourself, right? No one ever feels confidently in their capabilities of themselves until they are put in a position where they have to most of the time, right? You don't discover your potential until you have to tap into your potential in the first place, right? Um, so take that as you will. Can we just take a moment to also appreciate it was not intentional, but um, me just casually just giving some life advice as I'm just like putting on some chapstick, right? <laughs> like some weird Dr. Phil moment. Um, Knight of Cups, Knight of Water coming in for you. This is what ha this is what happens again. Keep in mind, Cancer, of when you actually start committing uh, and committing to a path in the first place. So let's look into this a little bit more. This card says falling in love for a wedding proposal, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. Um, I don't really feel like any of this has any bearing to you. I guess you would know. You would know. You you would know, honey, if it res resonates with you. Anyway, but I'm really going to speak in this message of um, opportunity being presented to you, right? Because the Knight of Cups is a representation, well, Cups in general represents emotions, but it also can represent opportunity as well. And that's why I like to really frame my readings in this way of where speaking of opportunity, because rather than just like a person presenting it, because it could be a person involved in the pre presentation, but... I want to just speak more of this as like uh, some something being offered to you, opportunity being offered. So let's look in the clarifiers for this. We have the Four of Wands for you, the Chariot card in the upright for you now. I love this. And then the Ace of Swords for you guys and the Reverse. So I want to figure out why this is in the reverse before I even continue on with anything else. Why is this in the reverse? What is this about, honey? Strength card. Cancer. Hello. Girl. <laughs> Quite literally, I I mean, doesn't the story kind of tell itself? It's kind of the situation of quite literally getting out of your head, right? That's your issue is your insecurity. Because the Ace of Swords is all about like dealings with the mind, like your creative thoughts, everything, like what's going on up here in your noggin. The strength card quite literally following you in every freaking deck that I have, Cancer. Like, I'm sorry, like, I'm not sorry actually. When you see repetitive, like, it's part of the purpose and why I use so many tarot decks is because it's like when you see, like, the one place that you want repetitiveness is in your tarot readings. People will comment and be like, oh, you're so repetitive, Elka. But I'm just like, girl, that's quite literally what you want because it feels as, like, I feel as if it's my job as a tarot reader to really release some of that skepticism you might have. And if you have, like, the strength card coming out once, right, it's like, okay, like, chant one in 78 chance. But if you keep having the same cards coming out each deck, it lets you know that there's something more going on here. And it's just like, if you were to just really receive this part of the message, things would just start unlocking, Cancer, right? Though you would start charging forth towards your Four of Wands, that 1111 portal, like the thing that's always been like what you were destined for, Cancer. Like you just have to work through this, <laughs> right? Work through like your imposter syndrome or work through like whatever it is that you doubt yourself so much or you have this strong sense of insecurity uh, going on with here with this cancer please <laughs> like can someone just let me know in the comments like, i need i need i need at least some cancer in the comments to appreciate uh this kind of this reading um just for as like from a tarot perspective because i'm geeking out here by myself i feel i don't like that but uh, <laughs> so silly but now cancer let's get into um your uh love and social uh connections this week as well as your financial and career this week i'm going to start doing some cards for your love and social relationships this week now this is not just for your romantic right because uh even though it kind of gives the impression that everything's all about like lovey-dovey there's we have more than just romantic connections in our lives right we have friendships family and all that so let's see what's going on there this week we're going to use the at least there 
So what's going on, Cancer, this week? And that one as well. So we have the World card. Scorpio got this as well. The World card, Nine of Earth, Ten of Water, Ace of Water. Things are looking fabulous in terms of your connection, social connections. Um, I really do see this sense, though, Cancer. If there is, I do feel a strong calling in that. Now, this is just straight up intuitive at this point, so take this as you will, Cancer. But I do get this impression here that there's someone that you really... With this ton of water here, it lets me know there's like a connection. Like usually you associate this with like family and stuff that's like your close circle. But I do get the strong feeling that there's some distance with there right now. But there's a strong desire with you into reconnecting with this, right? There's like almost as if like you know there's you know, your story hasn't ended, your chapter hasn't ended with the situation. But I don't feel like this communication. But with the nine of pentacles coming in here, it's kind of up to you. Uh, the ball is in your court, Cancer, to really put the effort into uh, continuing this chapter with somebody that you hold closely to that there isn't communication to. But overall, Cancer, I see your social connections fabulous. Kind of in your, in your like, up to you, though, for how things will turn out. So now let's get into y'all's uh, financial and career situations, Cancer, this week. We have the Magician card, the King of Water, and then the Eight of Fire. So let's see here. <sighs> Cancer, there is, here's this thing here. You have to kind of, you do have to open yourself up, right? You have the potential. As a magician, you have the potential to create. Eight of Wands is a card of like stepping up to the plate, right? Um, you have the potential for it, but you have to trust yourself, Cancer. You have to like... You know, the one person that you're going to have for from the day you're born until the day you die is going to be yourself. And you want yourself to be at least a cheerleader. You want to be cheering, cheering yourself on, right? Like, that's the least you can do for yourself is be your own cheerleader. Give yourself that confidence. If you're doubting yourself, Cancer, why are you doubting yourself? Bring some logic to it. Do you doubt yourself for... Like, because you're not educated enough in the, you know, being able to handle moving out, out, right? If you want to move out from, like, family or whatever, your current environment, you're scared that you wouldn't be able to handle it. Educate yourself. Allow that fear just to be a sign of needing more information on something rather than treating it as, like, where you're lacking something. And that's just, you're stuck with that because it's not the case. So, um... Yeah, Cancer, that is the reading that I have for you this week uh, for your weekly horoscope. Today, I hope you found some messages that resonated. And if you did, let me know in the comments below which cards did. Give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Cancer, I do weekly horoscope readings for all the zodiac signs, not just your sign, Cancer. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they can find a message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Cancer, I hope I can connect with you again sometime soon. I love you so much.